Hello from Bali. Here is a sequence for high blood pressure. I breathe pranayama, ujjayi pranayama, without retention, no breath holds, long steady breathing. Inhale and exhale. And then with high blood pressure, we don't really fall forward with standing position or do much head down asanas. So we forward fold in sitting position. I bend my left leg at the knee and bring my left knee as much left out as possible. Bring my left heel to my left groin, stretch out my right leg and flex my toes, bring up my kneecaps, slowly start falling forward onto my right leg. Inhale and exhale, I release my neck completely, allow the gravity to cooperate with me and bring me down onto my right leg. I bend my elbows and help myself, pulling myself more forward and down. Inhale, head reaching forward and exhale, right knee goes down to the mat. I bring both of my shoulders on the same level. And inhale, I come up. I take my left knee and open it a little bit, stretch it out, grab my foot and bring my knee all the way back. And now place my left knee into my right elbow, flex my toes and see if I can bring the knee as close to my chest as possible to open my hip. Continue to breathe evenly, noticing the sensations in my body and in my state. I must be very careful with my high blood pressure. I place my left foot on the outer edge into my right groin as far as high as possible and start reaching forward onto my right leg. My right leg is straight toes flexed, knee flexed, kneecap is up, inhale, I reach forward with my head and exhale, I bring my knee more down, inhale, I come up, Ardhabada Padma Paschimottanasana, and now I bring my leg into Virasana, left leg bend at the knee and I place my leg on the top of my foot. Inhale and exhale, start reaching forward, gazing still forward, reach forward, for leading with my chest and bring my arms closer and closer. Trayanga Mukha Ikapada Paschimottanasana. Inhale, reach forward with the head, even if it's a few millimeters. I continue reaching forward and bringing my knee down as I don't want to stay still. I keep moving with each inhale and exhale. And on the next inhale, I come up and I bring my right leg into Rasana as well. Sit between my heels. Both sitting bones are on the mat. Bring my knees closer together and my arms in front of my chest in Namaskarasana, Virasana. Tuck in my pelvis. Breathe evenly, continue ujjayi breathing. Next exhale, I bring my forehead to the floor, bending forward, completely releasing my neck. Take a few moments, inhale and exhale, paying attention to the physical sensation in my body.
inhale and exhale next inhale I bring my gaze up and then I come up and now I stretch out my left leg and I leave my right leg in Virasana Trayanga Mukha Kapada Paschimatanasana on the left leg I start falling forward onto my left leg leading forward with the chest looking forward each exhale I bring my body lower and lower inhale reach forward exhale bring my left knee down bring up my kneecap next exhale I release my neck completely keep reaching forward with my head and bringing the knee down with each exhale inhale reach forward with the head exhale bring the knee down next inhale I come up I come up and I take my right foot now to open my right hip I start with Janu Shirshasana bend my right leg at the knee and bring my right heel to the right groin as I rotate on exhale to the left foot and I see if I can grab my left foot and start reaching forward falling onto my left leg left leg is straight toes flexed kneecap is lifted and I'm opening up and seeking emancipation from my right hip Janu Shirshasana inhale I come up and now I take my right leg open my hip even more by bringing my right knee back all the way in the back and I place my right heel into the left elbow and see if I can bring the whole leg close to my chest opening the right hip even more so and now I place my right foot on the outer edge into my left groin in half lotus Ardha Padmasana bring my right knee down and go into Ardha Bada Padma Paschimottanasana still falling forward onto my left leg grab my left foot gaze forward leading with my chest inhale and exhale I release my neck the head goes down inhale reach forward with my head and exhale bring my left knee more down my right knee is on the floor right hip is open try to keep the knee lower on the floor and both shoulders at, at the level inhale I come up and I release my right foot stretch both of my legs in front of me bring up my kneecaps legs straight le legs together toes flexed and start falling forward onto the straight legs Paschimottanasana leading forward with my chest look forward inhale chest forward and exhale I release my neck and bring my head onto my legs Paschimottanasana stretch forward with my head each exhale bring my knees down legs straight kneecaps lifted keep stretching forward emancipation from the hips inhale and exhale the neck is completely relaxed yet I keep moving with each inhale and each exhale Paschimottanasana bringing my head closer and closer to my feet my body is on the legs inhale I slowly come up paying attention to the sensation in my body and I bring myself laying down on my back straighten out my legs my arms alongside my body palms facing down inhale and on the exhale I bring both of my legs up and straight behind my head 
my torso is up, sitting bones reaching to the sky, halasana, my arms can be down on the floor, palms facing down, or I can bring my arms, bend my arms at the elbows and bring my arms to support the back, halasana, by reaching forward, uh, reaching up into the sky with my sitting bones, I remove, remove the rounding of the spine. Here my Jalanhara Banha, my energy lock in the throat, or my thyroid glade, gland is really activated, really truly pressed. My chin is touching the sternum. I bring my arms up above my head. Urdhva Hastasana, palms facing up press up with my knees, legs totally completely straight, find myself in halasana, pay attention to the sensations in the head, slowly with control on exhale, bring my body onto my spine and take a pause in urdhva mukha paschimatanasana 2. Urdhva Mukha Paschimottanasana 2. Next exhale, release my legs on the floor and find myself in Shavasana. Achieve total, complete and absolute relaxation of the body. If there is any headache or any high blood pressure sensations, it's good to continue with Ujjayi Pranayama. I practice gratitude, no matter what our condition is, it's still good to be moving. Please let me know if you have any questions about this practice. You can stay in Shavasana for a while and go into meditation with your eyes closed and rhythmic breathing and I will see you on my online classes and courses send me any questions you have or i will see you on in uh, in bali at my yoga classes and yoga retreats love you